Tinubu attacked by popular Catholic bishop, Peter Obian obedience justified in all this breaking news. Hello guys, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, like I've often said this thing here, and I will continue to say it, that there is no difference between politics and religion. That a country like Nigeria needs our religious leaders to always speak up against the government whenever the government is doing something that is not right. You can't keep on asking people to come for your church, to come to your church and come to crusade and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. How many years have Nigeria prayed? What has actually worked in this country? Absolutely not. Rather, the country is going down on a daily basis. The country is going down on a daily basis. Instead of the, uh, some of our religious leaders that have capacity, some of them have millions of followers and worshippers. Instead of them to use that particular opportunity to sensitize the people that the government is doing the wrong thing. And I, I, I know this is how some nations grow. But some of them will actually collect money from the government and will tell the people to keep on praying for the uh, government. God does not answer such prayers. Like during the last presidential election, a lot of people we are speaking, a lot of people we are telling the uh, 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 the priests and the imams and the uh, religious leaders to come out and speak and tell the people the right thing to do. But some of them kept quiet. Some of them watched how the APC bastardized and destroyed our constitution. Some of them watched how the Supreme Court judges in Yangokuro and Justice Samani took over and turned our constitution upside down. All of them kept their, their, their mouth shut. But when you go to their churches, they would keep on telling us to pray for Nigeria and to pray for the president. How could we pray for people? Something, a power that God gives to us to choose our leaders. At the end of the day, people intentionally go and choose evil leaders because of tribal and religious sentiment. And, all that, and they will turn back to God and be praying, God, please help this man. You, you knew right from the onset that this man was not capable of being the president. But meanwhile, you will go and vote for him. Then you turn back to your offers and ask God and start praying for a man that you know that wasn't competent. God and leadership does not work that way. Well, like we all know, Fatan Parker is one of the people that have actually kept on stopping. Sometimes he prophesies, sometimes people don't even know where he belongs, which is basically the truth. Then he was the one, he, he once prophesied about. Uh, that Buari is going to be the redeemer of this country, that Buari is going to be this, Buari is going to be that. I'm going to play the video so you could listen to when Father Marco was actually prophesying and saying that Buari is the solution and is the prayer answered. But eight years, fast forward to eight years after Buari became the president of Nigeria, what did we gain? Nothing. Buari has brought down this nation to, 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 to the barest minimum. We are nothing survived, not, we are nothing is working, we are absolutely nothing, not even a single thing is working in this country. So to tell you sometimes that this is how we just did that, that we don't need prophecy again, that people should look out for people that have character and competence. Other than prophesying, 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 God does not even believe, uh, give it to you. Should look at the track record of this particular person. What have you done? His qualifications, his educational qualifications, his background before you vote for the person. Well, let me play this particular video of Adam Baka. When we come back, we we'll analyze the other thing that the other bishop, uh, bishops actually said. God prayed from here and there. God answered our prayers and gave us Muhammad Buhari. And I want to tell you today, God has told us that Buhari is a prayer answered. People of God prayed from here and there. God answered our prayers and gave us Muhammad Buhari. God prayed from here and there. God answered our prayers and gave us Muhammad Buhari. And I want to tell you today, God has told us that Buhari is a prayer answered. People of God prayed from here and there. God answered our prayers and gave us Muhammad Buhari. So you hear what Padam Baka was saying before Buhari and now then, but you can see, it doesn't work that way, that people should not only depend on prophecy, that people should equally look out for the person's character and competence before voting. Well, on, on another news, uh, a popular Catholic priest, who is the who is the bishop, actually, you know, uh, attacked uh, Bolaam Etinibu. Like I said, everybody knows that this particular man, Bolaam Etinibu, he cannot deliver. He's, he's, he's already feeling in governance because, like I said, a man that was not prepared, a man that people did not vote for, will definitely not succeed because he will, he will be doing his own bit by They said, according to the report, that the president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, which Reverend Lucius Ugoji, has decried Nigeria's endless borrowing of humongous sums of money to fund the personal lifestyles of public office holders, describing it as anachronistic, un unconscionable, wasteful, and anti-people. Ugoji, being the Archbishop of Owe Metropolitan, stated this yesterday while delivering a homely during his pastoral visit to St. Patrick's Catholic priest, 
Catholic uh, parish Okorata, away in North local government area of Imo State. He noted that the country was yet to know what the savings from the removal of the first source subsidy had been used for. In his words, he said, the seemingly endless practice of borrowing humongous sums of money to fund the personal interest of the country's public office holders is becoming worrisome. How come we are still borrowing to fund the wasteful activities of our leaders? Why must we borrow to fund the wasteful, the, to fund the purchase of vehicles for public office holders? This is anachronistic, unconscionable, wasteful, and anti-people. Nicole said, so this is what uh, this particular uh, popular Catholic priest said. And we all know that Sinibu as an author of does not even care about people, what people are saying. He only asks her to tighten her belt so that they can loosen their own and pattern up. That is why he will be projecting 15 billion to renovate the office of vice president, but projected about 20 billion for the office of the unconstitutional office of his wife to buy cars for his wife and all that. And projected so much billion for uh, to, to, all of them went to uh, Dubai to go and kill and do a lot of things with taxpayers money. And you people have started to cry and people have started to speak out that this is not the way things are supposed to be done. This is not the way things are supposed to be done. You cannot ask Nigerians to sacrifice. You cannot ask Nigerians to, to pay the ultimate price. Meanwhile, you people are political holders are, 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 are actually living large on our taxpayers' money. Look at the senators and the House of Rep members giving each of them 125 or 150 million naira SUV car. When even the annual salary of his of the, the lifetime earning of a professor in Nigeria does not even amount to such. And this is the basic problem we have in this country, misappropriation of funds. And the B2B was the first person that said that Nigeria does not have revenue problem. And the number one problem as a country will have is spending problem that our political leaders and office holders, they spend extravagantly and they spend ruthlessly without even minding who, where the money is coming from because they believe that the money will keep on coming everlasting forever. And people be everything people be and obedience have said have been justified. Just within six or eight months as this so called uh, man who who, who forfeited four hundred six thousand US dollars because of his drug and data activity. Just a few months he has become the president. Everything has turned upside down. He has been spending lavishly of uh, buying cars, allocating money, billions of naira. These are not even millions, billions of naira to different areas in this country. Wasteful things on personal interests of some politicians. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys. I'll let you guys know what you think about what I'm back and what this particular Archbishop of Way has said.